Parker Rice. I know this is going to sound totally idiotic. Do what you do. We got here because we are who we are, and we know what we're capable of, and we know how we play. For the last two weeks, three weeks, from Saturday weekend, we've not spoken once about your opponent. We're not going to do it today. Do what you do. Do your thing. Got it? Yes. Okay, well, see ya. She has poop. poop. I have poop too. I'm not even right. pooping. Oh, say, can you? <laughs> or am I gonna have to make That's not acapella, that's opera! <laughs> <laughs> no, Tori needs to be a man. She's been in the bathroom for the past 20 minutes. <laughs> Dude, I was literally constipated. I could not even <laughs> I am a ventriloquist. Quick! <laughs> I think we can, Damien, but like, it's not just friends. Yeah. Oh, just friends. That's what they all say. Just friends. That's what I say. Hi, I'm Haley. Hi, I'm We're Haley. gonna play a game. Okay. Any one, two, three. Turkey. Come on. <laughs> one, two, three. Bird. I didn't say one. <laughs> yeah, There's like a whole dictionary. <laughs> All right, ready? Emma, how are you doing? <laughs> how do you like a pen steak can so far? Get out of my room, Marley. <laughs> Two dice 
Star Trek fan. Good man gone and not the word I'm afraid of pressing the pause. Leave a mind with time to see it all. Stop. They're so good.
Morgan Cole, valedictorian. No. Oh, <laughs> not yet. How do you feel that it's your last day at camp? I'm grateful for the time that I have spent with my friends. Very happy for another year. About the show, bro. Yes. I'm very sad about not coming back. Oh. Um, I'm really sad, but we left our mark. Aww. We started strong. We ended strong. We did. That's so cute. I'm gonna miss you. Today's our friend anniversary on Facebook, it told me, just so you know. about everything we've been through but what about trust you know i never wanted to hurt you what about me what am i supposed to do i'm gonna leave but i miss you <laughs> will you be my lovely wedded wife <laughs> yes.
No. <laughs> we can yeah. swing our legs up high. Like this. Okay. <laughs> so just like swing it around. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Mamma mia. Here I go again. My, my. How can I resist ya? Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm the next part or Together, we got to whack balls at little kids. It was really fun. <laughs> and I'm really excited to see what goes on with and Annette this year, and also just like in life with those characteristics. Oh. Why is she so perfect? <laughs> <laughs> it's about me right now. <laughs> somehow you always make the weirdest goals. Like, I'm like, oh, that's not going in. And somehow it goes in the back of Annette. But, uh, Being um, in your group, Co Valley, just made us closer. I mean, showed up to practice this week in a leather jacket, sunglasses, <laughs> and biker boots. So this might sound kind of silly, but I almost feel like I watched you grow up. Like, we'd go to tournaments, and you were just always there to support us, and I think it's just crazy but awesome now that we're on the same team. Super. But I will literally always be jealous of, like, your legs and how pretty you are. so cute. <laughs> Thank you for always being there for me, whether it was after a bad game, if it's to yell at me that I'm fine. <laughs> Jill, you're fine. <laughs> so, let's make the last ride the best ride. And it was, you guys were really welcoming because I was really nervous for freshman year and I'm still a little bit nervous because you guys were really scary. <laughs> but now, when, when I was playing with them out there, I, I know they have my back and if I mess up, they're right there with me. You guys are like so talented. I was like so nervous to like come here because I'm like, I'm not going to be able to compete with any of you because you're so like pretty and like perfect. <laughs> I'm really excited to be on the team this year because everyone has such great qualities on and off the field. It's always like, this makes me sad. Oh, you guys are always like, so nice. It's not like, oh, it's like, I'm just so nice. <laughs> Make them boys go loco. 
the road was completely flooded and Sammy drove like a wild woman and I had to follow her and my car sounded like there was a tornado in it because all you could hear was I should have <laughs> in it. The wind never turn around, but they get around, always looking at me up and down, looking at me. I just wanna say it now, I ain't trying to ride up, drop a little mama out of one to the dad and I'm like, sing it! And forward, number two, Carrie Avella. Did she just say she had to get the sand out of her butt crack? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fart. Let's it. it might just like come out. I don't know. I'm working too hard. Yeah. What's that spell? Peace! <laughs> 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 Okay. He just lay there flopping around. Now we're gonna go dispose of him. What if tomorrow at this time we can say we're leaving tomorrow at this time? Actually, can you just say a few words? Uh, I love I do. And we're actually about like, like, you don't really know if we're a girl or a boy. Well, I don't mean it like that. So, today at the freaking water, I, an otter came up to me and scratched me. Fulfilled with. Puppies! No, I got to me! Puppies! Puppies! Say it. I heard it didn't go around. <laughs> How do you feel about your game? I think we're doing really well. <laughs> You're not even playing. I know. <laughs> yeah, I touched anything. the ball maybe one time back on defense. I think it's just a good thing because my team is just so good up in there. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> yeah, let's see it! <laughs> Can she score it? Oh, yeah! Yeah, red team! Broken ankles from the Haley Siako. Oh, 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 oh. What you when you dance there? Oh, this is really good. <laughs> Look at the ponytail. Look at it flow like a horse's mane. 
<laughs> I may have a bit of some pit stains. I don't really know if they're like that noticeable. <laughs> Be good. There you go. That's my defender right there. Oh, yeah. oh my god! What's your favorite thing about Po Valley? Definitely the feeling of my intestines sloshing around in my body. Um, you have. I look like a nun! <laughs> I look like Mrs. Trunchbull. Who is that? <laughs> I'm suicidal when you say summer. <laughs> so honestly, how upset are you that this is our last year? So I play soccer in college. I'm not going to have anybody to rub my shoulders before the game. Oh, so the thing you're going to make. Uh, okay. <laughs> Life for it. <laughs> um, what are you going to miss most about high school soccer? Probably yeah, the chub <laughs> So, um, what are you gonna miss about this class? Cousin, it's really hard seeing like a part of you leave. I think we should kick the ball when it comes to us. Um, preferably in the net. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. That's I think you guys are playing amazing. She's lying. We play no, terrible. I don't know. If you could be anywhere in the world right now, <laughs> where would you want to be? Bikini bottom. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. Jen. Wait, Jen, put that in the slideshow because it's the same thing as last year's. It's a crazy. I need to like. Second. Big girls don't cry. You can travel the world, but nothing comes close to the girls in one piece. Sometimes you got to get along, along down the road. We got a long, long way to go. Scared to live, scared to die. We ain't perfect, but we try to get along. While we can't always get in love, the upper hand ain't a wall. I'm about to say it's not appropriate for camera, so. <laughs> So complicated. I was trying to swim, minding my own business, and the Arctic McQueen scratched me. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Is that your phone? Is that your phone? Yeah. Through the night with the light from above. Beautiful. <laughs> so the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Someday soon your whole life's gonna change. You'll miss the magic of these good old days. But I know I'm who I am today because I knew you. <laughs> Oh yeah, someone's using it. No. Yeah, I'm I'm like now. Yeah. Like Mama put the car and park oh, in front of the school. Yeah! I'll walk in the door and do that. I can't. You're gonna miss me. You're gonna want to miss me. Where's the white hot dog? Where's the blood? It's a hot dog. He tells her it's a nice place. She says it'll do for now. No! <laughs> 
Oh, oh, her ankle's angry. Angry. I'm sorry, I can't. And me and my cousin, <laughs> Jerry, here, and he keeps telling me that we are in this fork knife game. This one's called Orange Justice. Colonel <laughs> 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 Commander Chief <laughs> of the local Squirrel Army. <laughs> we fight crime in Po Valley. One acorn at a time. <laughs> How do y'all Mildred Mill do? <laughs> I've lived in Poe Valley my entire life, born and raised, of course. Duh. It's Mer, Sal, Joe, and Q. Oh, 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 we go somewhere. They start screaming, Larry! <laughs> okay, y'all. So, my name is Mildred Kate Mildew. You can just call me Kate. My husband. Yeah, so, I pretty much just like live in the trees. My husband and I got married in that tree over there, actually. <laughs> But that's basically what I live in, farts and my burps. An otter that actually bit me in the lake when I was showering. How's your senior year? Ah, it's sad, but obviously fun, but also sad. Colby, how's your first the year? Watch the game. Ooh, get it. Ooh. Oh no. Oh, she's gonna wreck somebody. But yeah, we go tonight to go call our parents, but more importantly, our boyfriends. And turkey imported from Maine. <laughs> And Abby's got the horse mane back. Yeah. Back to, oh, oh, wide open in front of the blue goal. And Avery scores! Boop, boop. I don't know if this is recording or not. Are you mad that I like your brother? <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, no, I support you in your decisions. Zizi, zizi, what are you doing? Am I left out of the story? Poe Valley, girls, we're unforgettable. Poe Valley, girls, I got a really bad chop rub from running the 10 mile today, which is actually. We get to go get showers now. I took her What? What? Okay. I just saw her in the middle.
our super secret surprise. How do we feel? A little nervous. You know? A little nervous. 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 High five. Yeah. Your hands and I got us these really cute cards. Oh, it's so nice. Where are we going? Porsche! Oh yeah, baby! We won! Yeah! Wow! We're gonna be fit chips! For anyone, welcome the Tigers of Southern Columbia. Watkins, first scoring opportunity of the contest. Good job. There we go. First opportunity of the game. Good ball towards the middle of the box. Straight up in the air. And it's still loose in front and kicked out of the way. My higher sister, Myla Sharpless. The cross. Set out of the box for the moment. And again, what a nice move. And that cross deflected, still in front shot. Big time save of his last. Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over. It's fire, it's freedom, it's flooding open. It's a picture in the pulpit and your blood devotion. There's something breaking at the brick of every wall. It's holding all that you know. So tell me, do you want Brian, we've seen some good, aggressive soccer. Who took that hit and now freedom back the other way. And again, this mania gets by the defender. Opening, cross, oh, and it goes over everybody. Works the end line, deflected towards the box. Oh, and Romania and Morris. Yes, it is. A good deep cross. Oh, and a good play by here. Myla Sharpless in front. Watkins as well. And the save by Wislow. Morgan Cole pushing forward. Opportunity looking to cross. And it's in front. Loose in front. And it goes in the net. And we are tied in one apiece. Happy. One more look at this one. Morgan Cole makes it happen. She made the adjustment too, and the ball just deflects off shield and marks there to pressure something that we have not seen. That very intelligent group too. Look at this ball. Cambria Marks trying to chase it down. Can't quite get to it. Her strength on the ball in front, what she can give you, even though she's been an attacker all year. Morrison wow. puts it in from outside the 18. Net and DePoppy was not ready. We're tied again. Build was wide, they sent it to the middle, and no one stepping to Maggie Morrison. Has been quiet for a lot to take another one. And it's a short corner. Morrison gonna cross, shot, oh, and it sails the Marks with some space, she's going to send it towards goal. Trickles through to defense, Morrison got a... Marks wins the battle! Oh, and she lost it, and coming out is DePoppy. The team, team had some opportunities after that. Mostly Southern Columbia, though. Tie. Cross towards the box, looking for Watkins. Good defense back there by Sammy Polach. And now Cliff. That ball gets past Cook. Marks on goal. And paid that ball and saw it the last minute. So Cole kicking into the wind, keeps it low. Header hits the crossbar. Shot scorer! And your 1A girls soccer champions of Southern Columbia. What a finish. Sammy Polach ends up being Sammy Polach, and here's your game-winning goal. Well, let's see the, the 
pushed header off the crossbar, and it was Sammy Polak, her fourth goal of the year. None bigger than that, and the senior defender coming up big off the set piece. Wow, what a game this was, Ryan. Uh, you hate seeing either team have to lose this game because both these teams were fantastic here today. But in your 2018 CIAA, one a girls champions, the Tigers of Southern Columbia. What a game, and congratulations to Southern Columbia, District 4 champ, Southern Columbia Tigers. They are your state champ here in the 1A classification for girls soccer in the state of Pennsylvania. So for our... the first female sports team in school history to bring home the PIAA state championship. Congratulations to the girls. I've heard it said that people come into our lives for a reason bringing something we must learn and we are led to those who help us most to grow if we let them and we help them in return well i don't know if i believe that's true but I know I'm who I am today Because I knew you Like a comet pulled from orbit As it passes a sun Like a stream that meets a boulder Halfway through the wood Who can say if I've been changed for the better I knew you I have been changed For good It well may be The new never meet again In this lifetime So let me see before we part so much of me is what I learned from you. you. Dear Soccer, thank you for everything that you have done for me. Thank you for teaching me that hard work pays off and that dreams do come true. Thank you for all the amazing people that I've met and all the people who have helped along this journey. Thank you for giving me the best friends in the whole world and memories that will last a lifetime. All of the early mornings, sacrifices, and sprints all seem worth it when I get the chance to step on the field and play. You have been a part of my life for as long as I can remember, and I couldn't be more grateful. You taught me hard work, determination, perseverance, drive, and love. All my worries seem to go away when playing the game. Although I am sad that this chapter of my soccer career is over, I couldn't be more appreciative for what you have given me, and I'm excited to see what the future has to bring. Love, Jill. I always knew this day would come We'd be standing one by one Dear Soccer, words can't explain how much you've impacted my life. From as young as four years old, you've been an important part of me, and I couldn't imagine what my life would have been like without you. During the toughest practices and the exhausting trainings, there was nothing I loved, hated more. I've learned so much about myself and life with the ball at my feet. You've taught me to work hard and dedicate myself to something I care about. You've introduced me to a world of new people and friends that bring out the best qualities in myself. You've shown me how important it is to trust and dedicate myself to a family of girls with the same heart and passion for the game. You've given me role models to look up to and a reason to represent myself and my team with pride and respect. I would not be me without the game of soccer, and the 14 years of playing have given me memories I will never forget, so thank you.
adjustments in this one as you see the great delivery from Cole. I believe it was Jill Marks who got the head to it. Yes, yes. it was. Gets the ball towards net, and then Pollock does not give up on the play and gets the celebration for a championship goal. All Dear soccer, thank you for pretty much everything. Giving me memories that I will never forget. Giving me lessons that I will carry for my whole life. For giving me friendships that will last a lifetime. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be where I am without you. From lacing up my cleats for the first time and then walking off Hershey's turf for the last time. You have given me 14 amazing years that I will cherish forever. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for shaping me into the person I am today. Thank you for pushing me to be my best self on and off the field. You taught me to set goals and, you, and to never give up when things got tough. You've blessed me with the best group of friends I could ever ask for. When I look back on the time I spent playing this sport, I can't help but smile. The memories I made will live on for a lifetime. I learned so much over the years that will help me later in life. It's hard to say goodbye to a sport that has given me so much, but I have to. So thank you, soccer. Thank you for everything. Dear soccer, thank you for the past 10 years of memories. Thank you for teaching me what it's like to be part of something bigger than just a team, for blessing me with some of my best friends, biggest supporters, and leaders. You gave me an escape of my bad days and taught me to appreciate the things I unconsciously take for granted. Thank you for being the structure of our soccer family, for bringing us together, and being the glue that bonds us. You've taught me that no matter how tough something may seem or how tired I am, it's important to keep going and persevere. The hard work truly does pay off in the end. You taught me how to work with others to achieve a common goal, that you can accomplish anything you put your mind and heart to. But most importantly, thank you for giving me the opportunity to be a part of something that is so hard to let go of, for giving me memories I will never forget and forever cherish. Dear soccer, for 14 years you have been a huge part of my life. From AYSO where I first learned to kick a ball, to club where things got a little more serious and our soccer family became stronger, to junior high where the skill level increased and the plays became more demanding, and finally to high school where the girls were tougher, the work rate rose, and now I had a choice, to stay or to go. Some friends stayed and some moved on. But because of the passion I had for you, I chose to stay, and I'm so glad I did. I can't even begin to thank you for the opportunities you've given me and the lessons you've taught me. You have allowed me to experience some of the happiest moments and build the strongest friendships of my entire life. And for that, I am forever grateful. You've taught me that winning isn't everything and that hard work and dedication will pay off. I would not be the person I am today without you. And now that my time with you have, has come to an end, I look back and reflect. The good, the bad, the laughs, the tears, and through it all, one thing becomes clear. You are and will forever be a part of me. So I thank you for giving me more than just the game I love to play, but for the joy and friendships and everything in between, because without you, a part of me is missing. Lee Wilton. Dear soccer, you have been a part of my life for as long as I can remember. I have found my I found lifelong friends because of you. Starting at five years old, I can't remember a bad time I had playing soccer. I've made so many memories and shared so many laughs with my teammates. You have been my distraction if I was having a bad day. I knew I could go out and leave everything I was feeling out on the field. You taught me to never give up and never stop trying to be better. Some of my happiest moments have been with my teammates. All of my memories of being beating Eastern Yada twice and making history with my teammates. 
I have the best I have the best group of people I am proud to call my second family. I hope this isn't where our journey ends, but thank you. Thank you for giving me all of these memories over the years. Thank you for giving me these chances over the years to play the game I love with the people I love. Sincerely, Haley Walton. At the end of the day, oh, and Cole, pushing forward, opportunity, looking to cross, and it's in front, loose in front, and it goes in the net, and we are tied in one apiece. Dear soccer, thank you for introducing me to lifelong friends and giving us the opportunity to share something that we all love. Thank you for allowing me to put on my shin guards and cleats for 13 years. Thank you from the little girl who first stepped onto the grass with no skill, but with lots of pure love and determination for the sport that has been so instrumental in shaping her into the person that she is today. Thank you for teaching me the values of hard work, perseverance, and positivity. Thank you for giving me a vessel through which every coach, teammate, and member of my soccer family could help me to grow on and off the field. Thank you for being a constant friend and a good friend, both sharing in my happiest moments and teaching me the difficult lessons of life, like all good friends do. But most of all, thank you for the memories. So many amazing people have touched my life because of soccer, and so many happy moments are ingrained into who I am because of it. Thank you from the moment I first stepped onto the grass until the moment I last stepped off the turf for helping to create the strongest friendships and memories that I will always hold close to my heart. Number 34, Haley Walton, and number 40, Courtney Bassel. Dear soccer, thank you for shaping me into the person and player I am today. You taught me hard work, patience, and the importance of family. Thank you for the past 13 years of memories I'll never forget and bringing me together with some of my closest friends. I have gained a stronger sense of confidence and determination through this game. I can't remember a time that was not enjoyable during my entire soccer career. Whenever I'm having a bad day, the weight is always lifted off my shoulders as soon as I walk onto the field with my best friends. Thank you for always giving me a second home to run to. Thank you for all the years you've given me to play the game I love with my best friends. There were many ups and downs due to many injuries, not only to myself, but also to my teammates. I could not have asked for better teammates than the ones I have played with since day one. Jill Marks. Terry Cambria. Sammy Pallets. Caitlin Mitchell, Carly Bridge, Tori Romania, Kaylee Walton, Morgan Cole, Courtney Vassol, Hey everyone, I just want to thank you all for an amazing senior season. I wouldn't have wanted to win a state championship with any other team. Good luck in the seasons to come. Thank you for making my senior year a history-making one. I'm so glad I could achieve this alongside my best friends. I love you all so much and can't wait to see what you accomplish next year. Thanks everybody for all the memories. I wouldn't have wanted to make them with anyone else but you guys. I can't wait to see how all of you succeed on and off the field in the future. This season could not have been more perfect with all of you guys. I'm so grateful to have such amazing teammates and best friends. Thank you for an unforgettable year and good luck moving forward. I wouldn't have wanted to make history with any other team and thank you all for everything. Good luck and keep it going. Thank you all for the unforgettable season. I wouldn't have wanted to achieve this amazing accomplishment with any other team. Thank you guys and good luck next season. You guys never know what could happen if you guys get injured, so just play, play every moment like it's your last. And the years go by so fast, so just live every moment. I just want to thank everyone for putting in hours of hard work despite being tired and sore at times to make our senior year unforgettable. Good luck with the rest of your soccer careers. Thank you guys so much for helping all of us seniors have the most amazing final season anyone could hope for. Can't wait to watch you guys kill it again next year. Bye! Bye. <laughs> we'll take a time out when we come back. We will have our trophy presentations. Southern Columbia, your 1A girls soccer champions here in the state of Pennsylvania. Well, what a game and congratulations to Southern Columbia. Brian, let's have one more look at all these great games.